Hello, it's a very cold morning here in Kitale and uh, welcome to my vlog. This is the Village Wanderer and uh, since I posted a vlog on the 10 things I love about Kitale, today I want to post something on the 5 things that I don't like or that I hate about Kitale that just get to my nerves. So. Uh, make sure you watch till the end. Kitale is uh, much much slower and uh, that is just slow. Just the fact that it's slower uh, things just it means things happen slower. Uh, most times you'll find uh, things don't work as fast as you want them to work. Uh, people take their time. Uh, for instance in offices to open just even a shop uh, especially the town center things just operate slower like I was surprised when I came uh, uh, that supermarkets open at 8 8 and it 8 a.m. that is in the morning and in Nairobi you can be in town by 7 a.m. and the supermarkets are you know ready to go so you get your stuff and you move on uh, it was a bit, uh, it was a bit uh, stressful that here the supermarkets don't open uh, earlier, and it if, if if it's changed, I'm not aware. But uh, that was just like super annoying. Another thing is just the school transport system. Sometimes it may be late, and uh, that means if the school transport system is late, it means the kids are getting to school late. Uh, probably because along the stops they have to wait for certain uh, people or students who are probably late while in Nairobi you had about five to ten seconds to catch the bus and if you didn't then the bus would go so that it's on time uh, it, it gets the students to to school on time so that was just some of these small small things with regard to time are a big big difference that I really really hate the other thing that I don't like about Kitale is the fact that uh, there's not much variety in terms of social events in Nairobi there is quite a number of uh, social entertainment uh, events that are varied uh, that don't necessarily confine you to a club or to somewhere where you might have to spend a lot of money. For instance, uh, when you have poetry, poetry events, when you have uh, uh, art, art events like art exhibitions and that sort of thing, uh, music events like musical gigs, uh, like blankets and wines, there is none of that here. Uh, or if there is, then I haven't heard of it. I heard of one function last year but that was it. So in terms of variety of social events, there's not much of social events here, especially if you're someone who likes attending a lot of uh, art exhibitions, poetry events, uh, musical gigs and the concerts and that sort of thing, uh, then you'll be disappointed. The other thing I don't like uh, or I hate uh, or I detest is just the fact that there's motorcycles everywhere everywhere you go there's motorcycles and it's a good thing it's a good thing when you're trying to get around because there's accessible transport and you're able to move around easier but the downside is that if you're walking and you're not careful on the road then you can easily be knocked down like the motorcycles are just everywhere and you have to be very very careful as you move around as you do your things as you because motorcycles will come behind you come in front of you come everywhere and just the the, the you know the fact that you're walking means you will get called out like many many times it's like you're not supposed to walk it's like you're supposed to be taking your motorcycle so you'll find everyone calling out calling out for you hey do you need a motorcycle hey do you need that sort of thing and uh, 
uh, it can be it can be a bit stressful just the fact that you want to walk uh, but everyone thinks that you need to uh, be taking a motorcycle to wherever you're going means you cannot walk peacefully so that is a bit uh, is a bit of uh, a bit annoying and uh, one of the things that I don't like the other thing that I don't like about being in Kitale is the fact that there is very reduced uh, economic activity just in terms of the money that is circulating within this area and uh, this is quite evident especially like if you set up a business uh, then you'll realize really quick that uh, you might be getting lower returns than what you expected and it basically boils down to just circulation of money and uh, which is expected because if incomes are less then it means there's just less circulation of money and people have less money to spend so as a business person as an entrepreneur as an investor in real estate in retail or whatever business you get into uh, then of course uh, you expect to take time to gain traction uh, depending on what you're doing just because uh, the incomes especially if you're depending on the local market for your business uh, or for your business sales then uh, you'll have to be patient because the incomes uh, the, 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 the circulation of money is generally low and of course they can't be a comparison to Nairobi which accounts for a huge part of Kenya's uh, GDP so I'm in no way trying to make a comparison but I'm just saying that uh, this is one of the things that uh, really surprised me that uh, that uh, this is the way things are actually in the country and uh, Nairobi gave me a very interesting uh, perspective that was is not the actual reality everywhere and uh, just that realization made me uh, open to the fact that uh, places are different in terms of just the kind of economic activities uh, that take place and the capabilities of uh, the different areas with regard to uh, the level the income levels and the levels of uh, expenditure the other thing that uh, I don't like about Kitale is just the fact that uh, the infrastructure here is very underdeveloped uh, and when I say infrastructure I mean like the roads uh, the sewage system uh, now uh, this may be subjective based on my experience but it from what I've seen the just the urban systems like garbage collection uh, uh, and the infrastructure like say markets and that sort of thing are very very <laughs> underdeveloped uh, for instance uh, in the town center we have just so much chaos motorcycles parked everywhere uh, you'll realize that the roads are a little bit more uh, they're dirt roads they're not tarmac roads but again this is a rural area. so comparing it to the capital city may not be a good comparison and there's been a lot of effort a lot of effort to improve the roads and to make them uh, uh, more up to standard or more urban like but uh, when I came the, the roads uh, I noticed the roads some had just been done but a lot of the roads are still very underdeveloped and that's one of the things I didn't like the fact that most of the roads are dirt roads and that's okay because uh, we're a developing country and a lot of uh, places that are outside uh, Nairobi are actually still developing. Uh, the other thing, of course, is just the urban systems like garbage collection uh, and the fact that uh, there is no designated uh, garbage collection site or uh, a place that is assigned uh, individuals or companies that are assigned to collect garbage from houses. So people tend to just 
sort out themselves and uh, dump their garbage wherever they can dump it. Uh, and so you have all these spots where garbage is dumped that's not supposed to be there. And uh, that made me realize that uh, there's actually a system in Nairobi that, that works. So those are my basically my five points on why I don't like Kitale. And uh, you can feel free to add your, your points in the comment section. I hope I have not offended anyone. These are just my opinions. And yeah so please let's engage uh, probably someone might watch this and think of making it better yeah like i keep saying with the right leadership uh, of course anything is possible uh, things can improve things can be better so just make sure that uh, that we are objective in terms of just the feedback that we give so that we are able to uh, give constructive criticism that can actually help in improving uh, the town. So thank you very much for watching, for those who have subscribed to my channel, for those who keep liking my videos. Uh, I know we're still a young channel, but thank you very much for the support. And uh, for those who haven't subscribed, please keep subscribing, like, share the videos. Let's support each other to grow uh, so that we can you know just put out this information to the world and uh, share our experiences our experiences being food culture heritage uh, let's just share 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 if possible uh, and uh, thank you so far for the support I really really appreciate it otherwise until the next video keep watching keep loving uh, just be the best person you can and uh, until the next video, bye-bye.